Hey, good morning, everyone. It's uh, ooh, 6 30 in the morning right now. Uh, pitch black outside. I'm about to head over to Vancouver Island. We're all going to go over to the ferries uh, in Horseshoe Bay, which will lead us over to Nanaimo. And then we're going to drive down into Duncan and we'll be at our destination. <clears throat> Hope you guys uh, are ready for a pretty awesome trip. We're going to go see these great gardeners and uh, they really know what they're doing over there. They've got a seed crop hanging, they've got some. Uh, a bunch of hash ready to be made, both dry sift and wet wash. So we're sh we should be having a good time today. I'm just going to hit a little rip of the dry sift that we made yesterday with John B. Haven't seen me do this in a while. I packed my D-nail, so we're hitting the Swiss perk with the uh, B-line. Anyway, we've got a great trip planned for today, so come join me. Let's go for a ferry ride. See you soon. Hey guys, so about seven in the morning now. The sky is just starting to get a little bit of color. Uh, I'm gonna throw the big screens in my truck here. Uh, we're gonna catch an 8.30 ferry. We've got the four by two screens here. Ugh. We've got the some bubble bags, tumble now, D-nail. So we basically got everything that we're going to require to have a great trip over at the Great Gardeners. And um, yeah, we'll catch up with you guys on the ferry. special guests during our New Year's Eve run here on Jam On that was the Disco Biscuits week. Here we go. Oh really? Even with the sled? Yep. I'm just over 20 feet. I'm with the sled. I'm about 22. I'm being honest. I'm 20.8 otherwise. 81.30. All right. See what you get for being honest in this world. 
There's 85. Uh, no. Cool. Thanks a lot. Thanks. See you later. fuck up here at the front of the ferry but uh, I think I'm gonna head to the back and have a trippy stick and then go in and grab some food. Talk to you soon guys. Alright so on the ferry heading over to the island. It's cold but what a beautiful sunny clear day. Just uh, this is the back of the ferry where generally you get the less wind and if you're from British Columbia or if you've gone to the Sunshine Coast or any of the Gulf Islands, Vancouver Island included, you know that the back of the ferry is where everyone goes to puff. So you bring your joint, you bring your trippy stick, you bring your pipe. There's generally no troubles to be had puffing at the back of the ferry. So yeah, beautiful day to be heading over to see the Great Gardener. Really excited to see what those guys are going to pull off today. I hear they have a beautiful seed crop, so that should be exciting to uh, work with. We'll make a little bit of hash and uh, we'll just take you guys for a little trip through BC. This is uh, one of the bonuses of living here for sure. I'm gonna go grab a snack, I'll see you guys in a bit.
How's that for a Pelican case collection? These are my uh, Marcells that I'm bringing with me. Just a couple of my pipes, you know. sale if anyone's interested. Suck my dick. I think we're at the right place. How's it going, Matt? Hey, how's it going, man? Yeah. How's it going, everybody? Setting up the microscope. Setting up a little microscope, little camera. Oh, yeah. House of the Triangle. Great Gardener. Yeah. Beautiful. So stoked to be here, man. A little yeah. bubble drying here. Bubble drying. Some bags hanging. Oh, here we go. The room. Beautiful. What do we got? What do we got going here? This is a big test room, mostly high CBD phenotypes so of a lot of the favorite uh, strains from the Kabashi Club. So we got uh, high CBD Warlock, high CBD Afghani, high CBD Digweed, high CBD Renee. And a little bit of, of uh, Afghani on the far side. Beautiful. So these were all crossed with? These are all canatonic crosses. Canatonic crosses. And uh, we started off with 50 seeds of each. Uh, narrowed it down to 20 put into production. And then of the 25, 
roughly about five carried the uh, phenotype that we were looking for, say Warlock, so five of them had Warlock characteristics. And then of those five, then we CBD tested them, uh, roughly about two of them came out uh, high CBD. So now we're, so right here I got the Afghani Canatonic 8, and then back there is the Afghani Canatonic 6. Now we're trying to just figure out which one's best, we'll, and uh, that way. Uh, we're going to put it to the members of the club and we'll let them decide which one they like better. Right, excellent. Uh, Bioassay. And then we'll have, uh, we'll have a new CBD line. And do you want to give just the people that, you know, who are watching, I know a lot of people are hearing a lot of things about different cannabinoids and CBD in particular. What, uh, why are so many people looking for CBD? Well, CBD carries uh, a lot of the medicinal healing effects without the THC high. So a lot of people are coming to medical cannabis, uh, not from the recreational cannabis, and they want more healing properties and not necessarily getting really high. Absolutely. So yeah. some people like to, they, you know, they want to go to work and they want to be able to eat a lozenge or eat a eat a, eat something that's not going to get them high and make their job difficult. But and with the high CBD strains, they can have it. And they can, you know, pain goes away. Inflammation goes away, headaches go away, and they don't necessarily get high from it. So right now, because they deal with a lot of clubs, yep. uh, the high CBD is is sought after. The canatonic that we have, it's everybody wants it. It's the so, popular choice I'm noticing as well for kids with Dravet syndrome and oh other yeah. forms of epilepsy. That's the, yeah, that's the high CBD is virtually no THC. We haven't got our, we haven't found one yet. Uh, I know there's a few out there, but we're still uh, we're still looking for that elusive high CBD, low THC uh, phenotype. Oh, beautiful! Just gonna take a little quick walk through the aisles here. Hey, you guys have done a great job building some nice rooms. It's comfortable in here. The airflow is good. You got your ballast high, which is key. Ballast high, hot air high, fresh air, fresh air from the corners. And all your reses are outside in the hallway? All the, yeah, all the reses are outside. We have the ability to hand water uh, and uh, drip feed. So, especially right now when they're small and sometimes uh, hand watering is best, so you don't want to drown them out. Sure. You foliar spray as well? Uh, sometimes. It, uh, yeah, so, you know, on the leaves, it's, uh, it's more of uh, bug be gone. Uh, preventative bug. Preventative. Sprays. Always good to be preventative. Only spray during veg. Never, never spray during flower. You got flowers. You got bugs going heading into flowers. You're done. Yeah. Yeah. You won't get rid of them. Check out the Barbara. Excellent, look at this. Screens are out. More importantly, let's start it with the house of the great gardener. Very nicely. That's all nice. canatonic, that's the high CBD. Beautiful, well the done. Drying racks down at the end. Oh yeah, I'm gonna walk through. And what kind of temperature and humidities are you looking for in here? Uh, because it's open on either end, it's tough to control. Mm -hmm. uh, but it doesn't feel muggy in here at all. It definitely. No, no. If it gets too hot, we have fans that we. I'm more concerned with the air blowing down and just keeping a constant airflow mm. on them. Uh, still takes seven to ten days for them to dry here and then they'll go into bins and then from there we'll treat them you right know, flip them get the moisture out and then from them destock them and then back into bins okay so good process all the sh all the shake is put on screens now that's what I'm talking about right there this is what I want people to see this is how you do it people 
You don't have to go and buy uh, expensive racks from restaurants. You can build your own. This is perfect. He's got them dated and named. This is really nice to see. This is just so much resin lost when he's, not he's, done. He's, this has been sitting on here since December 13th. Wow. It's ready. It's ready, no or it's ready for the it's ready to be. And uh, do you have a you have catch trays on the bottoms or uh, no, we on have, the very uh, bottom? We have a uh, uh, little trays that they clip onto here. Mm -hmm. So it clips onto here and then you pull it out uh, and then you flip it. Beautiful. And then you move it down and then you pull the next one out, flip it. Only ever it gets flipped once uh, and that's it. Because then from there it's scooped up and Excellent. Either put through the tumblers, through the tumblers to the, to the, and then to the bakers, hash, then to the bakers. Tumblers, bags, and bakers. Yeah, this still has. You can see it's, it's sort of dry oh, to yeah. the touch, but if you a little bit marshmallowy, it, squeeze it in the middle, yeah. So it still has a couple more days to go. Yeah. <laughs> this is a Barber Bud Seed Room. Like a frosty that is. I'll just change that up a bit here. So these have been. Uh, oh, that's very frosty. Fan Woo! leaves. Fan leaves removed, but it's you know a lot of the fan leaves uh, were crystally. Well, there's a cake. And this is why you do this over screens, because he just literally knocked off 853,000 gland heads when oh, we did and that. We're catching them. We're catching them all. Absolutely. We're but it, they wouldn't be caught without those screens. So you can see if I if I just if I just bang these a little bit, you can see the seed. Oh yeah. Do you have a seed separator that you guys use, or uh, just do it all? I have a couple sort of again homemade machines. Mm -hmm. that you know, just run them through holes. No, not even. I use, no. I use more sort of gravity and okay. and uh, airflow. You've seen those laser perforated hole sheets, though. Yeah. Those are pretty good with a little vibrator. I've seen a wow. few. I've seen the one with the um, blows the air up and blows the shaft up. And right. Over. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, and and through the tube up. or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, those are pretty impressive too. But. Ingenuity. Nothing beats these seeds. I love eating them. So basically, the work here is to deseed these. Try to destock them. Uh, uh, and because it's seed, you don't really have to do this stage, but because of the fact that we we that we want to uh, capture the trichomes, right? Always want to keep the surface in, in front of you clean because when you cut it off, it hits the screen. Thousands of trichomes have just fallen off that bun. We collect that. So you sit here. You know it's you know it's dry when I could sit here and use my fingers. Don't even need the fiskers. I don't need I don't need these scissors. Like I, I can I can operate this whole thing with just using my scissors. But but this bud itself is still if you squeezed it, it's it's good. So we'll sit here and. Do a little debudding. Do a little debudding. I'm gonna take a few macro shots of that resin to show people the quality that you're working with. And then once you have a little pile in front of you, just lightly push it forward. You always want to make sure that the bud falls directly on the screen. Hey. 
can always tell where a workstation was. Look at that. Yeah, that one was definitely well worked. Nice pile of sift. He's got some here for you if you. So will you keep these four separate or just mix them all? Yeah, they're all the same. So. Yep. Shades on. Aren't you glad you did that work on screens? Quick test. Throw it here. Throw it in your hand. Squeeze it for a second. Gummy. Gummy. Oh, and aromatic. That's a word. Is that a word? Close. Aromatic. 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 But aromatic is. Aromatic. I quick, like it. Quick! Aromatic. So are you cleaning your sifter? Yeah. Your tumbler. Tumbler. Get it all clean. This is very important. Inside and out. Absolutely. I was showing just the other day we were using forced air to clean just the screens. I've tr yeah, I've used forced air a couple of times, but I'd like to get a more powerful one. Yeah, me too. We weren't working with enough power. Like even put it in a small box or something with a little intake and then a bunch of air that just blows it from multiple angles and spins it. Oh yeah. Yeah, you can definitely see it. And there goes more resin than most people will ever see. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, I guess we're getting ready to do a little dry sifting. They're upstairs deseeding that Barbara bud. And uh, Matt here is cleaning out the large pollinator insert, the tumbler. And uh, I've got my tumble now as well and some big screens. He's got some big screens, so we're gonna play around and make some dry sift. I don't have long arms though. Oh, you need some help? No. I'm just cleaning this out. No, no. No, no? Before, before I say anything, the, the, the last run that went through this was, uh, we call it the 48 hour to 72 hour run. It's like, <laughs> it's already done a 30 second run, like a, like a minute run, uh, and then we go to an hour run, and then we do a 24 hour run, and then we go from 24 to 48 hour run. And then we could do the 48 hour to 72 hour run. Wow, so this is the. And this it's is the 48 run. hour to 72 hour run. So uh, you're cleaning it out. And we're just cleaning it, we're just gonna vacuum it out. Alright, sounds good. <laughs> sounds good.
go. So, time to make some dry sift, or? Yep, so now we... Oh, we've, that shishkaberry uh, smell is unreal. We stopped it. Collected the keys that fell off of that. Oh, those are nice. That's now, a nice knock. And now, because it's a seed crop, yeah. we might have one of them. You hold it. But if you dump it too fast, so I won't dump it all. I'll just hold this scoop. Slow mouse. We'll uh, throw the whole batch in the tumbler. And we're going to do it for 30 seconds. 10 minutes. And then we'll do a one hour run, at which point we'll take it and then go and then go get the seed out of it. And then after we got the seed out of it, we'll bring it back. And we'll bring it back for a 24 hour run. Uh, and then we'll put it in for a 24 to 48 hour run. And then we put it in for like two days, 48 to 72 hours of run. Wow. Uh, Making sure you get it all, right? storage limits of my MMAR license. Yeah, mine too. Right. So we'll put it in here. It's got a stopwatch. Do a stopwatch? 30 seconds? One minute? We'll do one minute. to a nice large unit. Uh, the tumble now uh, doesn't come in this size, unfortunately. I'd love to one day offer them, but uh, yeah, this particular is a pollinator unit, I believe, uh, with a little bit of uh, the great gardener's pollen mask there. Oh, you change the screen on it, though? You put your own screen on it? Yeah, yeah. So that's the 10 minute run, and oh my god, the smell is like shishka berry. So strong. Yeah, there's always that corner in, in the initial sift. Get that on the screens as well. Now look at that. You can see the difference of the colors on the top. It's an almost greenish tinge. And as he flipped the resin over, you can see a much golder resin underneath. So we'll get to that later, separating those two grades, and we'll show them our plate, the green and the gold, when we separate it. Nice pile there, probably an ounce, eh? Maybe two. I just mean the pile right there, you haven't even gathered up this whole thing. Not bad for ten minutes. I think so nice ten minutes now. And as you run this more and more and more, it'll become harder and harder and harder to clean out the gland heads from the cap cake stalks, just full of hairs and plant matter. Grab a piece of cardboard. Pick it all up? Yeah. Uh, okay. Just give me a shot. Is it? Yeah. It's a good sign. Heavy sift is a good sign, better than light sift, which tends to be more contaminant rather than granular. 
Sift covered everywhere. <laughs> you need like big scoops, like painter's tools or yeah, drywaller's I, I, tools. Yeah, for sure. Cards are not cutting it for the great gardener. You're too small. Way too small. This is, uh... There it is, eh? Nice color, actually. I'll get it under the microscope and check it out. Full melt! Anyone? Anyone? Full melt? Anyone? 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 Dealer? Alright, back to the one hour. We'll do the one hour. One hour. What time is it? Huh? 419. 419! Why don't we head on over to the dab station? Yeah, put this in. Boop. Let's go dab. One hour run. Dab time. Not bad for 10 minutes. Uh, this over here somewhere. I'm just gonna deal with these guys. We'll do a little tumble now run afterwards too after we've run this for ten uh, minutes. Yeah. Perfect. That is a nice smell. Not so much on the outside, but after the 24 hour run. Um. So this. New tape. And you saw that when it was bud when we put it in. I would have broken it all up. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of work for you, especially over seeds. Sorry, Kirk. Yeah. Good. Good time to Look at that, the pile got so deep. Now you can see the screen. <laughs> Where the screen was hitting it. Well, that looks like some hundreds of grams. You might want to get some type of tub, tub in there. What? <laughs> You're going to want to get some sort of tub in there to get all that out. I got that.
Oh, it's a good amount. It's a good amount of weight right there for sure. And it is dense, you're right. It's uh it looks denser than you think. Or it is denser than you think. It's denser than it looks. Good color. So you've gotten to the point where Barber's been well sifted. We sifted it for an hour, and those big fluffy buds we had are now just sort of like this, but you gotta get the seed out. So what we do is we take put it onto this screen so it all the seed and everything that will already fall through. And then just give this a small grind and breaks up all the bud and get in particular gets out all the seed. So I usually do this with gloves but all that loose stuff, all the seed that's already harvested. Separate those further using scene se screen separators, or pull them out by hand. Yeah, no, we have a couple other wind machines that'll blow the ch blow the chaff away, and then uh, one more after that, one more uh, system after that that uses the angles and lets the seeds roll down. Perfect. And then you put a fan on there, and it blows off the chaff. So a good amount of sift came off of that uh, off of that Barbara. It looks pretty good. So. That's the one hour run. So then after we get the seed out, we'll actually put this back in back in the sifter and do a 24 hour run. Okay, and get then, the last little bit. And then a 24 hour to 48 hour run. And that stuff will go to edibles, tinctures, and things like that. Awesome. Awesome. Here we go. It's the great gardener. Today's How's chores. Going? How's it going everybody? Taking down a little can of tonic. High CBD. It's been hanging for just about a week. Yeah, about six that's days. perfect. So now we're going to put it in the bins. And I think I'll probably leave the lid off of the bins overnight. And then we'll sort of, then we'll, fl then we'll flip them. A uh, couple days, probably uh, three or four days, four, five days, and then we'll destock it, goes back into the bins, and then it's just the process of every day you go in, slide your hand, you slide your hand to the bottom of the bin, and it feels a little moister at the bottom, and you sort of flip it up until you can show up, and you reach your hand to the bottom, and it feels the same as the top, and you can sort of put the lid on it. At which point, to the you, next can, level. you can cure it for however you want, or you can smoke it, it's ready to go. Beautiful. Some people like curing it, some people don't. Some people. And is this a seeded crop? No, this is just regular crop. I know, medicine crop. This is a medicine crop. Beautiful.